What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on our arch enemy Fresno State and we finally got some revenge. It took me several seasons to finally beat him. I think we beat them in season two but the other seasons they had our number but not this season. We ended up winning 49 to 17. You can look at the box score. The second quarter we absolutely poured it on and we never looked back after that. Because of that, and the fact that Tennessee got beat last week, we are now number one in the country. The first time we've got to do this in the entire dynasty, but that's not our end goal. Our end goal is to finish the season number one. So we still got quite a few games left to play in order to get there. But today we are taking on a two and four Nevada we got much more talent than they do. You look at their stat sheet, there's not a whole lot to get excited about. It looks like they throw the ball halfway decent, but that's about it. And from what I remember, we haven't had too hard of issues with them over the entire dynasty. So I'm hoping for a nice clean game here. Definitely not hoping for a letdown. We don't want that, but that's, you know, anything's possible in this game. But before we take on Nevada, let's go to NC's recruiting. And as you can see here, our quarterback, Troy Petty, made the front cover of Sports Illustrated this week. NC's recruiting now. We did pick up another commitment, the linebacker, Clint Hall. Just another stud ball player for us. A guy we weren't even going after like the first half of the season. But we put so many points on these three other commitments that we had enough points to spare. And thankfully, Hall and uh, Malcolm, Michael Ralph have did not narrow down their list to the top five at that point. So we're able to put points on them. And we ended up putting 50 on Clint Hall in the end. We ended up getting commitment out of him. And now we're down to literally one player. And that is, again, Michael Ralph, the strong safety. We have, you look here, he, he still got his top five or number one on the list. We got a positive pitch. It's all but sealed for us at this point. We're just waiting him for him to narrow it down to his top three so he could come and visit. We could get him to commit. And that'll give us two strong safeties heading into next season. We're going to need those because we only got one guy coming back next year. But at least we'll be good at that spot for several years to come. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. We got some things to look at here. Bowl rankings. We are number one. We got a decent lead over Ohio State and everybody else. Looks like we're six points, or I don't know how you want us to go about saying that, but as long as we continue to win, we should be okay here. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Top 25 polls doesn't mean much at this point. You go to the Heisman Watch, and there is Troy Petty, number one on the list, with Tim Grant, number two. Now, you go back and look at Petty's numbers. We are eight games in. We got five more games to go. Four in the regular season plus the bowl game. It is quite possible that I can maybe get close to 50 touchdowns. I've done it a couple of times. Did I get close or did I do it with uh, Gronky uh, a couple of seasons ago? I've already forgotten. Either way, you look at the stats there, there's a chance we could do that. He's already got 32 touchdowns. We only need 18 more through five games so i think that is very doable the yards is going to be a little tougher unless he just goes off you know the next four or five games which is quite possible because he is playing at a very high level right now especially the last two games you see here gets fresno state he pretty much played a perfect ball game of course grant is doing his thing he's close to a thousand yards already has 13 touchdowns with five more games to go so they're going to be neck and neck there along with a few other guys trailing behind us. As long as we keep doing our thing on offense, we should stay in the top five for those two at least. Let's go to players of the week. Tony Fowler, halfback out of Nebraska, is your national offensive player of the week. Had a pretty good game. And then outside linebacker from Arizona, Evan Mason. Eight tackles, four for loss with a touchdown. Good for him. We go to the conference. Of course, Troy Petty won it. And then on offense and on defense, defensive end out of New Mexico State, Chance Douglas, 13 tackles, six of them for loss, three sacks, a forced fumble, just an incredible game by him. Let's go to conference standings. There's some important stuff to see here. We are far and away the number one team in our conference. We could lose one more and still win the thing because we have the tiebreaker over New Mexico State. 
they still got like four, what, no, maybe two games. Yeah, they got four conference games left. We only have two. We basically front-loaded our schedule with nothing but conference games because we got two non-conference games to finish off the schedule. But we just got to take care of business, and we will become soul wag champions because everybody else is just way behind us at this point. One thing we can look at is the Pac-10 situation. I mean, if I end up winning a national championship or if I can at least get to the championship game, I mean, surely, I mean, the Pac-10 is going to invite us. And we got several options now. You look here, Washington State is 2-4. and four. They keep losing. That is good. They are still a two-star program. They're not going to get any better unless they just go on a big tear here, which, I mean, I guess is possible. But we got two other opportunities. You got Washington, a three-star program. It's 0-6. They will go down to a two-star program. That's normally when you can get invited or you can get the switch uh, from that uh, going up and replacing a team like this. Then you have Oregon State. Again, 0-6, three-star program. They will drop down to a two-star prestige program. So that's three opportunities. If I win the national championship and I still don't get invited, then I just don't know what to do at that point. Again, it's out of your control. You can only win the games you can win. And if for whatever reason we do not get invited, I'm going to schedule all three of these teams next season and play them all and beat them. Whatever it takes in us for us to jump into the Pac-10. I think that is it. I think we are ready to take on Nevada. We can go ahead and see if we have anybody in trouble. We've had a pretty clean season this year in terms of discipline, and it looks like that's going to be the case here. So let's jump into the game. Looks like we got a, another pretty day for some football. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. An okay crowd in Reno, Nevada. It's going to be cold, but at least there's no wind, so I'm not too worried about any of that. Wonderful college football season. As we bring Two teams going in opposite Washington directions in the conference. conference. The I do like their uniforms, the blue and the gray. It all just looks really good. The Warriors are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, Ours isn't too bad either. Troy Petty, the man, the myth, the legend. He's just, everything's just clicking on all cylinders for that kid. Good to see it. Nice pick. And I'm assuming they are picking us, and they are. So let's go to the coin toss. We won it. I want the ball to start of second half. Let's go and check out their roster, see what we're dealing with. So their third string quarterback is the impact player, which makes no sense. And they may still play him some. I don't know how they're going to work that out. They'll find some way to do that, I guess. But their starter is just a 70 speed. We need to pray that he stays healthy because I don't want to see this kid on the field. He's, this kid's got 85 speed. He'll just be running around everywhere, which could be tough to stop. Halfbacks, 80, 80, 72, just okay. Nothing at fullback. Wide receiver, 85 with an impact guy and 80, 80, 72. So not a bad receiving core for the conference, and as we saw earlier, their stat sheet, they like to throw the ball a little bit more than usual, or at least that's what the stat sheet kind of tells us. So I'm assuming they're going to throw a little bit, mainly because of this guy right here. Tight end, their starter, he doesn't look too bad. He can catch a little, he can run a little. He's a monster, though. 6'3", 271 pounds. That's a lot of weight at 74 speed. Look at their offensive line, 78, 68, 74, 72, 82. Nothing to get excited about there. I forgot what defense they run. It's just, I should have looked it up. I should know this by now. I've already played them four times this dynasty. But looking at their ends, 91 and 74. You look at the defensive tackles. They got quite a few defense tackles. They either run a 4-2-5 or a 4-3, but not a whole lot at the tackle spot. Then you look at the outside linebacker with 74. Then an impact guy, middle linebacker, 86. And I and I, I just now occurred to me, I forgot to look at the team info screen, so sorry about that. I'm not going back to look at those. Now, 72, right outside linebacker, corner, 74, 68, 68. Just nothing. We can exploit this, hopefully. Just okay at free safety and just okay at strong safety. Just not a whole lot of talent across the board for them. Most of their talent is on the offensive side. They got an average kicker, average punter, 
Okay, I think I've seen what I wanted to see. So again, sorry I didn't look at the team info screen earlier. I think we kind of got an idea of what they have, though. And this is going to be way out of bounds. I hit the button way too late. So we're going to get amazing field position. So that was my fault. That happens. They're going to get at the 35, I would imagine. We'll go quarters out of nickel. I'm going to do something like this, perhaps. Make a play, somebody. Ooh, good defense. I think he got a hand on it. We'll take that. Let's try a zone blitz. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. This may be tough to. It's tough to blitz on this particular formation. Yep. Great defense right there by Murphy. Two great plays by Murphy in a row. And it's third and ten. Let's go, Cloud. Love to get a stop here. Looks like we're going five wide. I'll try to get around this tackle. And I should have went to the outside on that one. Oh, good job, Bale. I had to take him over there. So that's three plays by Murphy. I'll give him more credit than I give myself. That's a good stop. He was wide open, too. I thought that was going to be an automatic catch. So I took a chance there. Thankfully, it worked out. So we're going to get the ball for the first time. And... Glover takes it at the 23. Uh, that's a decent little run there by Glover. We are on the left hash. Let's start off. Let's go tunnel screen. We're going to do something like this. This will go to somebody on the right. Looks like we're going to go to Grant out of the gate. Can he make the play? Nice. And a fumble. Ah, dang it. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, just bad luck there. I think it's the first time I've seen him fumble it. Throw the flag. Throw the flag. Nope, they're not going to call it. I was hoping they would. You can't challenge the play or nothing. I, yeah, I think it was just an obvious fumble. Well, that stinks, so we'll just get back on defense. Let's see if I can get to the quarterback here. The wolf pack. Line up with Hopefully the they will throw it. Going draw and a fumble. Ah, they got the ball back, though. So both teams are struggling holding on to the ball. I'm going to do another zone blitz. I hope they do a little more play action. They haven't done any yet. Do something like this. The wolf pack. Come out of the ace formation. There Good play. Oliver brings him down. That's the exact play call you want to run against that blitz. So I'm going to back off the blitz for at least one play. We'll do an over front. They'll throw on first down. Ah, dang it. He somehow caught that. So another first down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the Looks like they're going to do a lot of 11 personnel, so we're going to... We'll try another zone blitz. It's not really working yet. Hopefully they don't run the ball here. The Wolf Pack come out showing three wide. There we go. Play action. That's what we wanted to say. That's the easiest play to get a sack on. You gotta love a kid with this kind of we'll go back to quarters. Let's see if we can just have a decent play here before we before we get on third down, which we did. So it's third and forever. We need to get a stop right here, big time. I want to get the ball back. Try not to <laughs> fumble it. Let's do something like this. I'll go to the outside this time. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Good play right there. Just nowhere to go for him, so it is fourth down. We'll go back to double cross, so let's get the ball back and see if we can get down the field and maybe get some points put on the board. Nevada lining up the punt. Kick it hard to the uh oh, this is gonna be a touchdown right here. Maybe. 
No, nope, he's going to get caught. That's a good play, though, by Glover. So we are on the left hash again. Let's go curls. They are going zone. We're going to do something like this. They come out of the nickel. Petty set to go to the air. Down the middle. Go to Glover. There's a big hole over the middle. It's a pretty simple read right there. That was an, a hot route. I'm treating them as option routes in this particular offense. So he was just wide open right there. Pretty easy pickup for a first down. Thankfully, he held on to the ball. So we are going back to, let's go gun normal. Let's go halfback angle. We're going zone. This will go to Davis or to Larson. He dropped back. Somebody came through super quick. Ended up getting almost a sack. Let's try a speed option. We're going man dime. We may have a chance to do something here. Ooh, let's go. We'll do something like this, perhaps. We'll just keep it with Petty, get the first down. That was just good instinct. Let's try a tight end delay. We're going man. We got plenty of options here. Let's do something like this with Rackley. We'll go to Larson. Get a little throw there. Just pick up the yards we need. So we are on the what? We're on the 12 yard line. Let's go curl read. They're going man. They're going dime. I almost want to run it here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring him over. Let's run to the right. There we go. Good play right there. Good little adjustment. I could have threw it. We probably could have got a touchdown with Davis, but I'm perfectly fine with that play right there. Good blocking by everybody to get the six points. So we're on the scoreboard. We will kick an extra point, and we will get back on defense. The Blue Crew State section. I've never ran a dynasty with Nevada, and I about missed that extra kick. So my kicking is a little off kilter right now. I like the little stadium, though. It's different. That would be a unique dynasty to do. The recruiting would be kind of tough. Of course, you'd get a lot of players out of California, but Nevada doesn't produce a ton of talent. That's a good hit in the back. Right, let's go back to quarters. They seem to throw up more than run it. We can check here and see. Looks like they are... Yeah, they are definitely throwing it more than they are running it. More like a two-to-one ratio. Let's do something like this. Play action. Ooh, good job, Al. Good little play there, so that's going to be second and ten. That's actually a very good play action play from that formation. Number 14 has five receivers lined up here. Well, let's do something like this. I don't have any fear of that quarterback running it. I think he threw it just a tad high. I wasn't really paying attention. I was focused on what I was doing on the other side. Let's see if we can get after this quarterback. I'm going to try to go to the inside this time. Intercept that. Big play by Oliver, the impact guy. He just overthrew it. I think he was feeling the heat by me. You can go back and look at this. No, he had plenty of time, but I think he threw it too early. That was his problem. And it ended up just being a great play by Oliver, who's just been a great ball player for us this season. So we are on the left hash again. And let's just go back to curls. I'm trying to think of any other left hash plays we haven't called yet. They are blitzing the inside nickel on the right. Because of that, let's do something like this. I guess we'll go to Larson since they went cover one. Get a first down there. Let's go streaks. We haven't called that today. They're going man. We'll do something like this. We'll go to somebody on the left. 
Somebody came and hit me. I get, didn't get it off in time, so that's a good play by them. It is second and ten. Mm, let's go half back out. We're going man. This will go to Davis. This should be his first catch of the day. They're still going cover one. They never go cover zero. What a throw. Great throw. That should be a first down. It'll be close. First and 10. We're on the 18. I want to... Are we close enough? Let's try... Let's go back to speed option. I'm going to run it one more time. Oh, 4-3. This may be interesting. I guess we're going to run to the right. Good defense all around. Nothing we can do about that. So it is. We are in the middle of a field. I don't know if we got the room for it. We're gonna do deep cross up. It's gonna be tight, and we're not exactly in the middle of the field either. I think what I may do is I'm gonna do something like this. I don't think we got the room. Oh, uh, good little adjustment. Get the first down right there. I didn't think we had enough room to go cross up. So we're on the five. Let's go screen. They're going man four three. This is going to be really quick. Yeah, good defense. That's kind of a. It's not the easiest play against man. They're on. We are on the eight. Let's go back to curl read. Zone dime. Hawaii goes with the ace set here. Let's go back and do this. We're going to run it again. There we go. That's what I want to say. Six points. Good little adjustments. We'll take that any day of the week. If they're going to give us that light box, I'm going to run it. So it looks like our running backs are getting a lot of love in the end zone. Kind of like what we had in the last game against Fresno. First three to four touchdowns was to our running backs. Is that Scruggs' first two touchdowns for him, I guess? And he tacks on the extra point. That score we'll get back on defense. I'm feeling pretty confident kind of where we're at and just in terms of I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat from their offense. It looks like we can move the ball pretty easily on their defense. Should be a perfect kick here. Yeah, that's going to be a touchback. I'm going to stop. Let's look and see. Yeah, they're going five wide. They can do that all day. Let's do a, something like this. We'll do a five-man front. I'm going to come back over. Nope, good play. I was out of position on that one, so they're going to get six yards off of that. I'll call the same play. Not bad. We already have 190 yards of total offense, or I guess total yards. I think the special team stuff is included. Good batted ball, so that is what, third and four? Ooh, I guess we'll, we'll go cloud. When you got a lot of green on your defense, like you see here, I mean, you're going to win ball games. Ah, uh, offsides. That's a first down. As good as I am with this game, it still helps you if you got some talent. I can't give myself a 100% credit on all this stuff, but it it helps you if you got, you know, tools to play with. And I definitely do this year. Play action again. Ugh, dang it. Got it. So close. Almost picked it off. Let's try a zone blitz. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 39. We was able to get one, one man back sack here. earlier. Good deal. I almost bit on it. I thought he was going to run the ball. I didn't even use the speed button on that play. And that should be the end of the first quarter. They may get this playoff. We'll see. Three, two. Yeah, they may get it off. And we're going to get a sack by Jasmine. Good deal. So that's three straight sacks, I guess, in the quarter. 
their offensive line isn't good enough to handle that. So it looks like we're going to get the ball back and we're going to try to tack on another touchdown. Somebody make a play on the right. Somebody get a block or two on the right. How about that? Ah. Oh, man, I kind of had a chance there. I went too far right. So we're back on the right hash. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. I'm trying to think. Let's go. A triangle. We haven't called this today. We're going, man. We're going to do something like this. We'll see if Rackley. Who's going to be on who? I can't really tell. We're going to either go to Rackley or to Davis. How about that? Looks like they're going cover zero. Let's see if the big guy can bring it down. Good catch by 85. 89, sorry. That was a good play by Rankley. We had an equal. It was actually a better matchup with him compared to Grant against their nickel. So that's why I went to him. Thankfully, they went cover zero. There are some plays where I could try to force it on the players, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I don't know what they're doing here. Another trip to the red I think I, may, I just may run the ball. I think I'm going to run to the left of Troy. We're going to do something like this. And that was a bad play. <laughs> that guy was way too fast for me. So we are on the six-yard line. Uh, let's just... I think on the six-yard line, that's when they'll start going goal line. Nope, they didn't. Oh, they had to try it. I'm calling this formation because they don't. We'll go to the left. We'll probably call the same thing. We can go dive this time. I really don't care who scores as long as we do score. The Warriors come out of the ace formation. And we're getting in the end zone. So we're up 21 to nothing. Looks like we're going to be able to get our second string in in the second half if we keep doing what we're doing. So that's three straight for Scruggs. Good for him. He's got just enough size and strength to kind of fall forward on most of his runs, which is my preference when I'm under center. When I'm in the gun, I prefer to have somebody a little bit lighter. If you can find somebody that's good at both, by all means, get them. I think we may have that kind of sort of with uh, the new halfback we got committed, but I don't think he can catch all that well. Looks like I got a new driver that's available to update. I got to do that later. Hopefully I won't forget that. We'll go quarters. We'll keep doing our thing here. Everything seems to be working okay. They haven't got past midfield all day, I don't think. Six points. Ah, oh, dang it. With a takedown. I saw the hitch, so I went right towards it. Great play by LaFew. Able to get in front of that. Maybe the best linebacker in the country. All right, we're going to go corners. Let's see if we can pull this off. They're going zone, so this may not work. We may go to Rackley here instead. I'm a little worried about that impact guy sitting right there. But... No, uh, flag. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was trying to, you know what I was doing? If you go back, well, we'll show right here. You know what I was doing right here? Because I'm playing Madden 2004, I am thinking about the control uh, situation for it. So you go to control settings, and I pressed, if you go to passing, I hit L2. In Mad 2004, you hit L2, the buttons go away, and you can run the ball with your quarterback. Well, that's kind of what I've done right there, and I didn't mean to. <laughs> it happens, I guess. So we're on the 18-yard line. Uh, let's go. I'm going to go back to deep cross-up. I'll probably go man, and they're going man. So we got a couple of cover one situations. I can go to Glover or to Davis. We'll just see what they... They're going to cover one. Let's see if we can make this play. Ah, double team. Wasn't expecting that. So it wasn't the best throw. That was my fault. It's third and 18. Ooh, let's go deep attack. They're going man 4-3. Let's see who is on who. Let's 
Uh, we're just not going to get a first first down, technically a touchdown. So we're on the three. Hmm. I'm going to go for it. Let's just go with a run. I'm going to give it right back to Scruggs. I think this is our safest play call right here. Maybe. We're about to find out. Ah, dang it. Wow, my right guard just got a right tackle, I guess. He got annihilated. Messed up the entire play. I didn't mind going for it on fourth down right there on the goal line, more or less. They'll start this drive at the nine. Nevada goes with the ace set here. Somebody make a play. Good open field tackle by Moss. Three yard pickup on the toss. I'm gonna call the same play. I think they'll go play action here or at least pass it. I hope they go play action. I'd like to say get a sack with a few. Comes to the line with three wide. Nope. Run up the gut. That's a good little run there by halfback. So that's a perfect play call against that defense, so we're going to back out of that. Let's do cover two man. We haven't got to call that any today because normally I know they're throwing a lot, so I prefer to go zone in those situations. Let's go cover two man and see what happens. Play action. Ooh, almost got it picked off by the defensive end. What I what you see right here is the reason why I backed down the coverage is for one, I knew I couldn't get to the quarterback in this part right here. I thought it just didn't have much of a chance. So I just backed down the coverage and it seemed to work out. Second and ten. We can go back to quarters. Just are going too wide. We'll do that a four three. Come out in the ace formation. Play action. Nope. I run up the gut. That was a hit. Really good hit. So it's what? Third and four? We'll go cloud. Third and four. This is the fifth play of this drive. Do something like this, perhaps. Almost fumbled it. We almost got it like a strip sack type of situation, but that's a good stop. We're going to get the ball back. I'd like to at least score one more time before we go to half. Two minutes and 18 seconds. There may be time for us to get the ball back another time before the half ends. We'll see how quickly we can score on this drive. Somebody get a block on the left. Get a block on that guy right there. Ain't happening. So we are on the left hash. Let's go back to... Tunnel screen. They'll get the ball here at the 26. We'll go to either Grant or Larson on this one. We're going cover zero. Give it to the big guy. Can he make the play? Just don't fumble it. So now we're back on the middle of the field. We do have some room to call this. Just a great play by Grant here. Great separation. Actually, the pass wasn't all that great. He had to slow down to get it. So I want to go cross post we should have the room for it this hope this will be a touchdown to glover not feeling a whole lot of heat and just overthrew it second and ten let's go speed option they're going nickel and they're blitzing that one nickel so, ooh, I'm kind of glad they're doing that at least. We're going to go to the left. Hopefully that left tackle can contain that defensive end, and he can. We'll just get out of bounds, just get the first down. We are on the 13-yard line. Let's go. Tight in the lay. They're going zone. I'll do something like this. The Warriors come out the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Yeah. Throws it to the outside. Oh, wow. He somehow stayed up on that. That's a weird play. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He somehow... I've never seen this player animation before when he gets it hit. That's just weird looking. Maybe I'm just not used to seeing that. So we're on the four. I want to try at least one screen. Man, they're going man again. They're calling man a ton on this play. We'll try this. We may lose some yardage. Ah, he drops it. <laughs> so it's third and one. And let's just play this safe. Let's see if we can just get the first down. Zone dime. We should have no problem here. Should. 
There we go. So Scruggs has his fourth touchdown on the day. Just We can't get any passing touchdowns going. It's kind of hard to make quick passes within the five-yard line. That's why I just play it safe and just run the ball in. I could probably come up with some different things if I practiced on them, but I've just never really had to. So there's a minute 38. We got three timeouts left. I'm going to try to use them and get the ball before we go to half. It took us 33 seconds to score on that one. Of course, majority of that came off Grant's deep bomb. Hawaii is ready to kick it away. Lawson and Tatum back ready to return. Eh, this is going to the impact guy. This may not be good. Maybe he'll kick it so far. Nope, he will return it. Tatum fields it in the end zone. Good stop there. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. I'm assuming they're going to try to throw, try to make a, a drive out of this. They're about to find out. Good defense there by Murphy. So we don't have to waste a timeout on that play. I want to call another zone blitz. Second and ten. Ball on their own 19. I'm gonna do something like this. They come out with three wide receivers. Let's see if we can get somebody on the left side open. He drops back. With the throw. Ah, ow. That's a face mask too. Barry nope, they didn't call it. Nice that was a busted play on my part. I should have took over that other guy either. Just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down. Let's see if we can just get a stop here going forward. <laughs> Second and ten. Let's go back to quarters. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Number fourteen with three. Do something like this. Oh my gosh, he caught that. Murphy. Wow, look at this play right here. How lucky can you get? Should have been an interception right there. Bounced off of me, and he ends up getting the ball right there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before either. So we'll just stay in quarters. They are loving their five wide. Steps up, looks. Overthrew that one big time. Second and ten. Back to five wide they go. I'm going to try to... If I can pick one of these off, that would definitely help. Good open field tackle there. Third and four. They're calling their own timeout, which is fine by me. We'll go cloud again. Third and four. Right around midfield. They can't do anything on third down so far today. We'll see if we can force them to go 0-6. Cut, cut. And he drops it. Oh, that even... So we didn't have to use any timeouts there. And they're going to punt it. So we definitely have a chance to get right down the field and score. We're going to have to get a little bit vertical with our passing game. Normally we do that when it's cover zero. We keep it pretty simple otherwise, but... Glover, we'll fair catch that one. Catch. And they make the fair so what I'm going to do is start calling some of my older run and shoot stuff. Let's go with corner strike. Zone dime. Mm. Let's see what happens here. Ah. I had no choice there. I was fixing to get sacked, so we had to get that one up pretty quickly. Second and six. We can... Go triangle. We're going man. Our best matchup is Rankley at this point. So we're going to go to Rankley or Davis. Cover two. Intercepted. He short-armed it. Very close. Very lucky we didn't get that picked off. Third and six. I think what I'm going to call, I'm going to call an old, I don't know if he can handle this. We're going to try. We're going to go slot cross. It's third down. Going zone dime. I am going to run an old school RPR from the old Mississippi State days. Let's see if Glover and Petty can handle this. It's been a long time since I've called this play. And it worked. Good deal. 
<laughs> little RPR. Just waiting for that corner to come up so I can throw it to Glover. So we did call our timeout. Let's go offensive line. Let's go halfback streak. Let's see if we can go after that safety. We'll do another rollout here. Good. Not found a whole lot of pressure. Fires deep down the right side. I dropped it. Incomplete. 25 seconds to go. Oh, uh, I still got two timeouts. In second down and ten to go. Nope, I'm gonna have him do something. We're gonna reward Rackley instead. Let's see if this will work. And it's caught. He's Get out of bounds. Third and five at 21 seconds. We'll go halfback out. I still, honestly, 21 seconds is actually a lot of time to get 46 yards, or at least get close to a field goal. They line up with trips to the right. Drop back to pass. Looking. Ah. Overthrew it. So it's fourth. Uh, let's go. But it doesn't matter if it's not tight in delay. Dude, they're going zone. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can pull this off. Good throw. And we got the first. And I think we stayed in, out of bounds, too. Deep attack. They're going zone. So ended up working to be a perfect play right there. First and ten. The defense lines up with six DB. He's looking. Ah, overthrew it. So Petty's off a little bit on his deep stuff right now in terms of the more hard throws to make. So we're back. Ooh. Let's go back to triangle. Ten seconds. At least they're going, man. We got a chance to go deep. It just depends on what they call here. They're going to cover one. Ah, bad play right there, Al. Hey, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> That's why I don't call the deep ball on cover one. So let's go back and look at this. Safeties are so good in this game. And eh, let's go back. Instant replay. So here's the situation. Let's get out my little telestrator here. We have a guy going cover one right here. And I got my cover zero beater with Rackley right here. Now you would think it's going to take him forever to get down the field and try to defend him because look at this point about right here so i'm thinking how in the world is this guy going to be able to come all the way over here in time especially how hard i threw the ball i threw the ball about as hard as i possibly could without making it super hard but somehow some way he was able to get right over there and make a play now what didn't help was rackley had inside release you see right here he's supposed to get outside release but he went on the inside if he'd have went to the outside, that could have maybe been a little bit better. But that safety comes over so quickly. We're just lucky that Rackley made the play in general. So that was not a good play on my part. I should not have thrown to him in general because of what just happened right there. We just got lucky. That's why I only throw go routes against cover zero because that safety can get over here so quickly. But it is what it is. But we got the touchdown. So it is 34 to nothing. We'll get an extra point. I'm going to let my first string go one more drive in the third quarter. Hopefully we will score. Then we'll put in the second string after that. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Five seconds. Let's survive this five seconds and we'll go into the half. Look at some stats. We'll kick it over here. And not a good kick at all. This is going out of bounds. Just a terrible... Again, kicking is not the easiest thing to do in, the, in this game, that's for sure. So much easier than the later games. Almost too easy. Again, just my fault. But please do not let the kick meter on Heisman prevent you from playing on Heisman. There's so few... I mean, just practice. That's what I suggest you do. Like anything else. Ooh, they're going... Oh, this may be a bad play for them. Ooh. We'll get the interception. We'll take that. I thought he had a chance to score a touchdown there. Great play. He got hit as soon as he threw it. I was not expecting him to go Hail Mary, and that's what they called. That's why you saw me go back up. So it ended up being a perfect half, technically 35 to nothing. We'll check out some stats. 376 yards of offense. I mean, our offense has B-minus talent. Now, we're going up against a pretty bad team. I got to 
play, you know, factor that in. But that's a lot of yards in one half. 15 to 24. The passing game's going fine. It's doing its thing. 314 yards. It's our run game that's really helping us out. 60% on third down. Uh, just Nevada. They're just struggling offensively in general. But they got a quarterback that's, what, 74 overall. So I don't expect much there. Turnovers. That's a big key. We can look at some individual stats. 314 yards, one touchdown for Petty. Rushing, a little bit of everything from everybody who normally runs the ball. And then receiving Grant, 126 yards, but no touchdowns. Rankley has the lone pass or receiving touchdown, but he's got 91 yards already. Davis only has one catch. That's just kind of the way it's worked out so far. We'll see if that changes on this next drive. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Games like this is pretty typical when you're very talented and the other team isn't. Number seven fields it in the end zone. It's just part of the game. And we're just playing well. We're in the middle of the field, so let's go deep cross up. Let's see if Glover can get something going on this one. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Good throw. Wow, what a throw. Wow, what a play. That was a zip. That was by far his best throw of the day. I thought it for sure he was going to throw that thing out of bounds. He threw it right where it needed to be. We're back on the right hash. Let's go curl read. Uh, let's go Grant again. I'd like to see Grant at least get one touchdown before we bench him. And there it is, possibly. Uh, jump up and get it. Six points. Good deal. Good to see him get his touchdown for the day. He normally gets about one a game. We just got an amazing offense. Just everything's just really clicking. Good little jump ball situation. When you got a six-eight wide receiver, just call plays like that. Especially if they go cover zero. So what we are going to do is we're going to take out the first team offense we'll take out the first team defense on the next drive maybe we'll just see how that goes i'm kind of a, a little bit thin on the defensive side i do not like seeing some offensive players play defense especially at corner and he tacks on the extra point here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. so that was a quick drive two quick throws 80 yards so that should have got petty close to 400 yards i think it's just under so he had a slow day. He only had like 380-something yards and only two passing touchdowns. Lawson fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. I'm going to do another zone blitz. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Eh, this is going to be a tough to blitz on. Nevada comes to the line with three I try to do an inside to look there. That didn't work. Get a first down there. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first. Let's call another zone blitz. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Do something like this. Maybe they'll go play action. With three wide Doing a little receiver. motion. Nope. They are going to run the ball. That's a face mask. It looked like it was going to be one. Second and nine. We'll go quarters out of nickel. The Custer going four wide. Looks like they're going to throw it. Dang it, Al. <laughs> Play the whiff on that one. I forgot I can use the strafe button to like hold steel, but I always forget to use it. We'll go back to quarters. It'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Let's spread out our defensive line, see if that helps anything. Six points to a few. Can he get? Nope. Another good interception. I was able to get in front of, I think it was a hitch or maybe a drag. Not really sure what that was. I think it was the drag. I saw it coming down, so I got in front of it. So now I will go ahead and put in my second string across the board. 
And we are going to make the one uh, offensive adjustment. We're going to put Cox in over Larson. That way Cox will be under center the entire time as such. So from here, I want to call plays. I normally don't call. This gives me a chance to just practice some things. So they're going man here. Glover is still in the game just because we don't have enough receivers to... It looks like he may get a touchdown here, though. That may be too far. Oh, too far. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super Let's go safety draw. Yeah, coach, he's got the They're going man nickel when I can do I here. Kid on my team. We're doing something like that. Uh, let's just run the ball. And ooh, good play by Cox. Able to shed that tackle from earlier. Third and two. Let's go P.A. Reed. I don't call this too often. It's not, it doesn't really fit the offense. We don't have to do much play action. I'm going to call my normal stuff here, just in terms I'm not going to worry about clock or anything. Not the best throw. I'll probably go for this fourth and two. Let's go halfback out. Ooh, they're going zone. Ooh, dime. Let's just go ahead and throw it. Throw or scramble for the first. Just the enough. Play. I thought that was going to be overthrown. But good play. Good pass by Fuller. Let's pick a play. Uh, corners. Let's do corners. We're going man. Let me do something like this. Hawaii lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Looking. Rolls to the left. Throws the shot. Ah, that should have been caught, Bass. Perfect throw by Fuller. Second and ten. Let's pick another play. I don't normally call. Well, let's do wide receiver drag. This is more of an air raid play for me. We're going zone dime. I think what I may end up doing is. I think I just ah they're doing that. Wasn't expecting. I ah, forgot this was a QB choice. And he's hurt. <laughs> Dang it! Wasn't expecting that. Do we got a third stringer? Mars, Rob Marcellus, he is a pure pocket passer. I thought I was calling halfback off tackle, but half halfback off tackle thought even in gun trips. So it's third and eight. Let's go with this play right that here. They're going man dime. They're going cover one. He's coming down. The wolf pack bring in their dime package. He's looking. Throw Good little play. Good little dig route by Fritz. Good little man beater. That's what I was gonna go to. I think he got a little pick action up here, which was pretty nice. Yeah, look at that's why he was so wide open. Good little play to Fritz. We are on the five yard line. Let's go back to screen. Oh, so that was it was Marcellus. That was Marcellus' first throw. I may have said fuller earlier. I'm sorry. Good tackle by that corner. And that guy does not need to be on the field. Number 22. We're on the eight. Let's go curls. Again, I'm just calling random stuff at this point. Just gives me a chance to fool around with some things. We're going zone. We're going to go to one of the two curls in the middle. Or to Larson. Ah, he was wide open. Bad throw. Third and goal. Eight. I don't know if this is a good idea. We're going to try it. Let's go wide receiver drag again. Oh, he's only after two quarters. That's good. They're going man. I'm going to try to go to Glover here. We're going to let him try to get some separation if we can. Touchdown. Yeah, that's a good little play right there. Decent man beater. I put a little touch on that, just so he could kind of get away from that free safety a little bit. So good to see Glover get in the end zone. Good throw by Marcellus. Wasn't expecting him to get in the game. And now we're up 48 to nothing. We'll try to get an extra point. Now in the fourth quarter, I'm going to run some clock. Perfect kick right down the middle. Let's see if we can do the same on the kickoff. 
But going forward, I'm going to just keep calling new plays and stuff. I haven't called in forever. Is ready to kick it away. Lawson and Tatum deep to return. Not a bad kick. I think he's going to return it. It's a good stop there. we got to stay in 4-3 the rest of the way. Let's go cover two man. I'm going to control a safety. I'm going to practice my safety skills. I'm not very good at them, but we'll see what happens. Gain about five yards there. What I may do is just stay in this coverage just so I can get used to controlling a safety, winning man. I normally let the AI handle it until the quarterback throws it. We'll just kind of depends. Like for now, I'm letting the CPU handle that situation. That's a good catch there. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. I got no choice. Uh, let's go quarters on this one. Just executed, and the result is a first down. Johnson with four wide receivers. Johnson drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking, rifles it right. Uh oh, that's gonna be caught. Yeah, that's a good throw. He beat the corner pretty easily. So they are attacking my second string defense pretty easily. That's something like they got their backup quarterback in there. Now he can run the ball. He's the one with the 85 speed, if I'm not mistaken. Play action. Rolling out to the right side. Good job, Al. <laughs> Ooh, that was so much fun. So here I am. They go play action. I kind of knew what play they was calling. It's just like a, a flood uh, release to the right side. So I went over here because there was nobody over else here to cover. Everybody was going to the right side. So here I am. I'm going over, and I was able to get in front of the guy who he threw to. That was kind of luck on my part. I just had to pick somebody. But thankfully, I was in front of it, and I was able to get the touchdown. Pretty cool. Not bad. That may be a good thumbnail of some sort, something like this. Pretty cool. Those are always fun. User interceptions from a safety. Those are so hard. So we're back on the left hash. Let's go and call slot crosses. This is an old, I call it a Steve Spurrier play. When you got a corner on the left and a post on the right, just that same look, I kind of I always think of Steve Spurrier. There's nobody open. Ah! Almost intercepting. That was a bad play call. Let's go second and ten. Let's go P. Reed. They're going man four three. Ooh, we're definitely not going to. Ooh, what are we going to call? Let's run the ball. Don't catch me. Get the first down with Larson. I want to pick a play I never call. And I need to call this more because it kind of fits what we do a little bit. And that's quick slants. We kind of use wide receiver curls for this. But we got more of a swing than a flare. I kind of like the flare against man. Not the best throw. We had to come back for it. But we're going to get the first down anyways. Let's call another play from Gun Spray. Let's go halfback go. They're going man. Who are we going to go to here? We'll do something like this. Ooh. Not the best throw. Hmm. Holding? I guess. I don't know what they're going to call here. Holding. On On Lumpkin. First and 20 on the 20. He looks like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little Let's call this P.A. Reed. Zone dime. Ball on the 20. I almost want to run the ball. Lines up in a shotgun set. We'll go to that. Ah, good coverage by the corner. It's a good play. So what is a third and forever? No, it's second and 17. Let's call slot clear out. This used to be part of my run and shoot offense, but it takes a little while for that halfback swing to get up the field. So I don't call it as often. They're going man here. Sack. Everybody just got brutal. Look at this. Left tackle got bait. 
Right tackle got beat. Just had nowhere else to go at that point. Third and forever. What are we going to call here? Five seconds. I don't think we're going to get the ball off in time. Or the snap. What do you call on third and forever? I think I may call. I think I have an idea. I'm going to call a typical third and forever play. Let's go halfback screen. It's been forever since I've called a halfback screen. They're going zone. Thankfully, because that's who I was wanting to go to was the halfback and Larson. Marcellus set to go to the air. Throws and they've got the screen set up. Complete. Uh, if I could just get a oh, fumble. So that was a safe call just to get some yards out of that, but we are going to punt it. That's your typical NFL college. A lot of teams call that like a, a halfback draw or a screen when they know they pretty much aren't going to get a touch or a first down. That's a punt and a half, but he's got a lot of room to run. Let's see where he's going to go. Uh-oh. The 50 at the 40 at the 30. Good play, Al. <laughs> and he's hurt. <laughs> I didn't mean for him to get hurt, but sometimes those small Oh my gosh. I gotta go back. This is gonna be my I have to use this as my thumbnail. Do something like this. <laughs> that would be a great thumbnail. <laughs> Old Jackson saving a touchdown. That's hilarious. Let's go cover two man. They're going five wide. I always feel better controlling somebody on the left side than I do on the right, so I'll stick with the free safety. That's a good throw there. Great concentration. Holding. And there's a penalty on Maybe. The play. Let's see who it's on. Holding. That is going to be holding. We will take that. I'll stay in cover two man. Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. Nevada goes with the ace set here. We will make some shifts. There's a play fake. Ooh, good play. And I, I, what am I doing? I just dove into thin air. That's stupid. And he quit doing that. Let's go back. If you can pick those off from the safety position, man, they're so much fun. They're hard, though. You pretty much have to pick a route and see if you can get the touchdown. Wide open. Good play right there. So how did he get open? I think I know what play they called. This is the play action tight end wheel play. It's great against man. As you see how wide open he was right here. Great separation from the linebacker. If you got a good tight end and they're going against, if you're going against man, by all means, call that play. So they're going to get their touchdown. I was kind of hoping we would shut him out, but that's okay. We shall kick an extra point. And again, I'll try to run clock. I think we'll do some run stuff here on the next drive. And they're going to do an onside kick. That's... You do you. How about that? We'll just get out of bounds here. Right hash. Let's do counter. Counter is not going to work all that well. This particular counter is just slow. I'll show you what's going to happen here. We may get a decent gain, but we'll try it anyways. All right, he got off the line okay. We just didn't get much out of it. But as soon as you snap the ball, notice how slow he is. The other four guys are already blocking, and my pulling guard is still in his three-point stance. That's why I don't call this play. There are other counters in the game where it's much quicker, but that particular one just doesn't work all that well because of that. Now let's go back to Curl Reed. Let's see if we can just get some yards back. Ooh, they're going man. Our zone dime. I may end up. Let's run the ball. We're going to run some clock too. We just got town everywhere. I mean, look at your backups. Except for we're kind of short on one receiver. Got a couple of yards there, not much. 
third and six. I think we got somebody in there who's not supposed to be in here at wide receiver. But the going man cover one, this is why I call this play. I wanted to work on my back, uh, back side post. But if they go cover one here, I'm going to try to go back to that dig to Fritz. Because whoever Vincent is, I think he's a wide receiver, or a corner. I'm going to do something like this just in case. Marcellus, back to throw. Watch the throw. Ooh, what a catch by Fritz. I was fixing to get sacked. They blitzed off that side. You see that corner coming through. So I, you saw me naturally go to my left. I'm just waiting for that dig to get open. I had to get it off in time, but great play by Fritz. Keep the drive alive. Let's stay here and go weak off tackle. If you're going man dime, just please don't shift to the left. Thank you. We can do something like this. I'll run some more clock. This will be a basic handoff to Larson. I kind of wish he wasn't in there. But due to formation subs, he is. So there's nothing I can really do about that. I'll probably need to stay under center a little bit more. So he doesn't have to play as much. We're going to get a decent play on this one. That's good. Ah, it's going to be a holding. Another one. Got a lot of these young guys in here. Holding on every play. First and 20. That was a swing. Are we still on the right hash? We are. Well, let's go. I'm going to do quick slants, but we're going to do it off the right hash. I'm doing this on purpose. They're doing this. So we got a couple options here. We got a little... It's like an inverted stick concept. Marcellus drops back on first down. Let's it go. There's a missed tackle. And he's taking Yeah, down. good coverage overall. And we got an off an offensive player hurt, a backup. Number 49. Whoever Latuli is. I don't know why we got a 49. Oh, it's our left guard situation. Ah, geez. We're just really hurting, aren't we? Let's go curl flats. It's second down and a long Man, to nickel. Go. I'm going to go back to Glover. While he's out there, I'm going to put some stats on him if I can. Otherwise, we'll go to one of the curls. Cover him one. Good throw. Ah, great throw by Marcellus. Third and two. Let's go with a dive play. Man, nickel, if somebody can move over. Kind of give me an idea of who's... Looks like they may be... Blitzing here. So what I'm going to do is do something like this. I think they're staying in man. And we'll go over here to the left. And that's a good call. Cover zero. Can Glover get the touchdown? Six points. Sam's another decent adjustment. They did go cover zero. So I went over the top. I had two cover zero beaters. But it's good to see Glover get in there, unless we've already given him another touchdown from before or have already forgotten. When you have 56 points on the board, you're going to forget which touchdowns you had. I could have easily went to the out route, could have extended the drive, ran more clock, but they gave me too much love on the back end for me to not take advantage of it. This is another thing. When you got a pass happy attack, especially two teams that throw a lot, you're going to have longer games. I'm already one hour and eight minutes into my video. If we would both ran the ball, we probably would cut 15 minutes off. Lonnie Scott is hurt. Whoever that is, he's probably looks like a backup linebacker, maybe. Let's just go cover two man again. Get the ball here. At the so Petty is your player of the game. Good for him. Three wide outs here. Screen. Oh, good tackle. I'm glad he made the tackles. I was afraid of that I couldn't. We'll stay in cover two man. Latuli's only out for the game, which is good. Trips left. Went with the counter. Just not going to work. So it is third and forever. 
Let's do a basic cover three. I'm gonna control a defensive end. Ball on the 16 yard line. Nevada comes out in the shotgun. I am not gonna blitz this guy too hard. I'm gonna bank out in coverage, and somebody was able to get to him. Good deal. That guy can run it, and I didn't want him to run around. Fourth and 22, that should put this thing away. We're gonna get at least one more snap. We're gonna they may not even snap the ball here. They line up to punt this one away. If they're smart, they won't. Glover may take it back <laughs> for a touchdown. I could call a timeout here, but I'm not going to. And it looks like they want me to try to do something on this one. Glover fields it at the 44. And that is it. 56 to 7. Like clockwork, everything went about as smoothly as you can ask. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this So we'll look at some stats and we'll get some scores at the end of the weekly wrap up. We'll go stats and scores. 585 total yards, 82 yards rushing, 500 yards passing, 503 to be exact. Just a great, I mean, Marcellus went in there, made some plays when Fuller went down. And poor Nevada, their offense was just absolutely awful. Our defense is incredible, though, so I guess I shouldn't expect too much different. Five turnovers, though. We're just forcing turnovers. A lot of that was just interceptions. Just our quarterback just did not play well. Let's look at some individual stats. 17 to 26, 394, and two touchdowns for Petty. Rushing. Four rushing touchdowns for Scruggs. But everybody got the run at least a little bit today. Larson, Petty, Scruggs all had similar yardage. Receiving Glover. Ended up getting two touchdowns. So, so he did get two. For some reason, I thought I just got him one. And then you got Grant with one touchdown, 155 yards. Rackley had a touchdown with 91. Several people got to catch the ball through the air today. And let's go to defense. Nobody really stood out in the tackle department. That was pretty even spread. Murphy led in tackles at a corner. Tackles for loss. A few people got to get involved in that area. We had Elamimian and Maynard and Jasmine with sacks, and we had all these interceptions. Just bad interception day for Nevada. Two for Lafue, one for Cole by me personally. I, th I can think I got one of Lafue's as well. Elamimian got one as the end of the first half. Then Oliver got one in the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's check out some scores for Week 10. Of course, we beat Nevada. Oklahoma State beat Texas in a pretty wild game. Nebraska beat Oklahoma in a big-time Big 12 matchup. Those two teams need to play each other more often. I know Nebraska's really fallen off the table the last decade or so, but it's still a big rivalry. Then you have Maryland beating Florida State. Just a lot of big-ranked games so far this week. Then you have Miami over North Carolina. LSU over Vanderbilt. USC over Washington State. That's good for us. Texas Tech over Baylor. Then you have Michigan over Michigan State, but barely. Arizona State got upset big time by Stanford. Colorado barely beat Kansas State. Wisconsin, I guess, with a an upset over Iowa, just a ranked game in general, 20 to 8. Tennessee barely got by South Carolina. Florida got upset by Georgia. You know, this is the last game of the season for us is going to play Florida. And last but not least, Texas A&M over Iowa State. And then last but not least, part two, Ohio State over Minnesota. So come on back in our next game. We will be taking on Utah State. Just another bad team in our conference. We should have no problems here as long as we play good, clean football. We should be okay. So come on back. We'll take on the Aggies. And I'll talk to you later.